She's alive! Hey guys, what's good? It is your boy Pookie here. Right, you may have seen all the skateboarding videos on my channel. This was originally my cheap DIY build. Now this original build cost me 350 quid. I have upgraded it since and I'm going to talk through what the upgrades I've actually done. On the back now, I've printed off a new VS, new VESC box. I say vest box as I have upgraded this to a vest and opposed to the cheap speed controller that was already in it. So now we've got a upgraded vest in there and that's a dual setup. The vest that I've got is the Flip Sky dual vest. It is, it is the 4.20 and it's 147 quid at Banggood. What I'll do is I'll leave the link down in the description if you want that, guys. The thing does actually come with an anti-spark switch built into it, which is absolutely fantastic. So, basically, when I plug in my high-discharge LiPos, I don't have to have a loop key or anything like that. I literally on and off, and the spark key is inside there with a few. So, if anything happens, like a surge comes through the batteries, say, it's not going to blow my speed controller because of this... Uh, button and I think it's you know it's not cheap that button it is a few quid for an anti spark button like that so we've got the vest I've got it all wired up in there the next upgrade I did was I did actually buy some uh, zippy compact uh, 8000 milliamp 5s batteries they were like 70 quid each and I needed two of them but this now gives me the range of all the evolve boards I was at the evolve event we went on uh, group rides and pretty much the Evolves were dropping off, like jumping into eco mode and they were ready for like finishing up on this. Uh, I think it was just over like a 10 mile ride, but it was like uphill and off road terrain. So you're only going to get that with the Evolve boards anyway, I think. Obviously, I don't own an Evolve board, but I've got a few pals who do. And I think they said that on the street wheels, they get about uh, 17 mile, uh, 17 miles. And I believe on the AT setup, they get about 10 miles, depending on, you know what the hills are going to be like and this that, and the other so yeah i've got my batteries in there i've got a new vest in there see you can still keep this build nice and cheap you don't have to get the high discharge lipos you can still use the light uh, the batteries that come with the build that i uh, built the list for anyway you can literally just use them same batteries and it'll work with that vest so if you wanted to do a cheap board right obviously i built this for 350 quid with a cheap esc if you spent another 120 quid 130 quid you could get the vesk instead of buying the other esc and then this build is probably going to cost you about 450 and trust me i am a bit of a lad ass and you know i'm about 14 maybe 15 stone probably from yeah, 14 15 stone and this thing now jumps with me on it as i say i took it down to the evolve uk open so what i'm going to do is i'll just bang a load of footage of uh me riding this board in there because there's not really much to show you about the ESC except for me riding it. And yeah, this thing is an absolute animal now. I cannot ride this full speed anymore. I used to full speed everywhere on my other ESC. I simply cannot do it with this setup now. I literally, I hold the trigger down and I get that fast to the point where I get speed wobble and that's it. I, I have to let off the throttle. I literally cannot full throttle this. So it is a bit of a scary beast, but it's just nice to know that I've got the power there now when I need it. So, yeah, that is fantastic. So, I'm just going to cut to a couple of clips of the Evolve event and just, uh, yeah, show you how she performs. So, catch you over at the event, guys.
Sí.